Today, we are going to be talking about Ashanti. This is a popular brand in the Nigerian beauty market. There are a wide range of Ashanti products ranging from soap, liquid wash, scrubs, creams, lotions, spa salt, and a whole lot of other stuff that I probably don't know. In this video, we are going to be focusing on the Ashanti papaya and honey soap. I said last week I was using the soap, but I don't use it anymore. Reason, I am a skincare enthusiast. So, I try a lot of products and, you know, I just try a lot of products so that I'll be able to, like, come online to give you guys honest reviews. So, I am done with that soap and I am here to give you guys my honest review. The soap comes in a bright orange pack. The soap itself is wrapped in a customized sheet. This really helps with imitation. Yes, so let's look at the ingredients that it contains. The first ingredient is coconut palm oil. This is literally coconut oil. It is gotten from the coconut palm, that is the coco nucifera. When I saw this ingredient, I was first confused like coconut palm oil. Is it coconut oil or is it palm oil? But it is literally coconut oil that is gotten from the coconut palm. Yes, so the second ingredient is sodium hydroxide. This is the key ingredient in soaps and it is safe. Um, this is what makes soap soap, if you get what I mean. Third ingredient in this soap is the papaya extract. Papaya extract helps to smooth out the skin, it lessens acne breakouts, um, helps with hyperpigmentation. However, it is not really like um, fast action. It just happens over time. The scars fade over a period of time. The fourth ingredient here is Q10. This is an antioxidant and it helps to tackle wrinkles, fine lines, uneven skin tone, skin damage. It restores skin elasticity and a whole lot of other stuff. The next ingredient that was stated here is vitamin C. Vitamin C is also good for skin. Um, it's good for skin lightening. However, um, I can't really tell what vitamin C is doing in this soap because, um, I mean, anytime that you see vitamin C in a soap, it's just a marketing strategy because vitamin C is an acid and when it reacts with soap, which is a base it neutralizes so there is nothing like vitamin c left anymore in the finished product the vitamin c that was added during the um soap production reacts with the soap itself and it neutralizes so um, including vitamin c as an ingredient in soap it's nothing but a marketing strategy um to be honest with you anyway the next ingredient here is vitamin e well this is popular um, skincare ingredient but again I don't buy the idea just like vitamin C vitamin E doesn't survive saponification process so vitamin E is also added um, as a marketing strategy and it's also added as like um, a natural preservative well lastly um, we have alpha hydroxy acid this is a chemical exfoliator AHA is good for fine lines overall. It's a chemical um, exfoliator, you know. Physical exfoliation is really not good. So chemical exfoliation is actually the best method of exfoliation. And AHA is one of the key chemicals that are used, um, rather that is used for um, chemical exfoliation. So that is that for the ingredients in the soup. Well, talking about my experience with this soap, um, first time I used this soap, not just like the first time, but like each time I use the soap, I notice that I have a stinging sensation. If I don't wash the soap as fast as I applied it, I end up having a stinging sensation. And yeah, the soap smells nice. It foams really well. Um, but then it's actually messy because if you drop it like on white tiles or like maybe you know some way it just leaves this orange stain all over the place that I do not like and you have to really keep the soap dry if not it's just going to like dissolve because it's actually 
when you leave it in a wet place it dissolves well this is actually for all any kind of bar soap it dissolves um another thing is um, after a period of time after like two weeks of using the soap i figured that um the soap was actually it wasn't really doing much for my skin rather it was making my skin to be rough um this is because it's actually very harsh yes i do have oily skin but then it strips my skin off moisture like there is this excessive excessive um dryness that i feel each time i finish taking my bath it strips my skin off moisture and this results in like um really really rough skin because then my skin tries to produce oil to make up for what is already lost at the end of the day i end up with like tiny tiny bumps on my face well um generally this soap the price of this soap is like 350 i don't know how much that is in dollars but i'm going to be putting it up on the screen so the soap is actually very cheap and i don't really see any like any um major major ingredients in this soap to be honest like for that price for that price i really doubt these ingredients in this soap so you guys i just like realized something right now i just realized something right now something that i think is actually very very ridiculous the name of the soap is asante honey and papaya soup or papaya and honey soup but in the ingredients there is nothing like honey there nothing looks like honey nothing like smells like honey so why did they just like why did they just write papaya and honey when they know that they don't add honey because in the ingredients there's nothing like honey in the ingredients so it's also a marketing strategy this is just one thing with all these cheap soaps like they're just playing with our intelligence anyway i just feel like most of these things are actually stated for marketing strategies asante it's, it would actually be good for some people but personally um, the fact that I treat my skin as sensitive, I feel like Asante soap isn't really for me. But I have seen people that have used Asante soap for like over a period of five years. And this soap is actually very, very, very good on them. But for me, um, I wouldn't say I hate this soap, but I just don't like the fact that it is harsh on my skin. So if you have sensitive skin, please do be mindful before purchasing this soap um if you are using it at all don't leave it on your face for like a while just wash it off as soon as you apply it like you know just like wash it off because if you try to obey the 60 second rule of washing your face it is going to like stink a little bit well, anyway, guys, that is just all I have to say about Asante soap. Overall, it is good. It smells nice. It's it's good if you if you if you want to use it. If you're on a budget, it's actually a very good soap. But if I should say, people that have sensitive skin should just like should just let it go. Like, don't use the soap if you have sensitive skin. Well, guys, that is all for my honest review. I hope that you guys um, enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it, like, informative. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I beg you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am going to be seeing you guys.